This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Stephen Luke. Let's get right into your local stories. The city of Chula Vista voting unanimously to ban the sale of flavored tobacco. Now, at last night's vote, it was an initial reading, which means this measure still has to get a second approval at a later meeting. Now, if adopted, it would prohibit the sale of all flavored tobacco products, with the exception of shisha and premium cigars. The ban would take effect January 1st of next year. Chula Vista tried to ban the sale of flavored tobacco back in 2020, but the bid failed when smoke shop owners said it would kill their businesses. Additional deputies right now are surrounding Vista High School. This after violent threats were made on social media. Now it follows an alleged assault of a student in a locker room. NBC 7's Nicole Gomez has the story. Well, mixed reaction here on campus. Some parents thought that law enforcement and the school both had it under control. Others didn't approve of what they saw. All morning long, we saw sheriff's patrol cars driving around campus following shooting threats made on social media last night. Because all it takes is one rogue person to, to really do some harm. So I just wanted to know what extra steps they were doing to keep an eye out for that one rogue person. So, and uh, between them and the sheriff's department, it sounds like they've got it figured out. It all stems from this video confirmed by San Diego Sheriff's investigators of the alleged assault of a 14 year old Vista High School student in the locker room. And just last night, the Vista superintendent confirming one of the accused football players posted pictures and threats showing what looks like a handgun on social media. Really disturbing. Yeah, so I mean, we see that fairly regularly, but um, I take it very seriously, so I don't want to just ignore it and have it just one more thing time after time and act like it's no big deal. It's a big deal. So we had heard that there was supposed to be increased presence of police officers, and I, I don't see a single one, so it makes me very uncomfortable. Beth Gallagher decided to keep her daughter home today, also saying the initial locker room incident is unacceptable. What I've heard is true. I think it's terrible, absolutely terrible. So I feel absolutely horrible for the child that was you know, I don't, I don't know, I, you know, I'm not going to rush to judgment, but the viral video is now under investigation by the sheriff's department. Investigators saying the boy was not hurt and did not require medical attention. The district also saying sexual assault has been ruled out. There's a protest happening at five o'clock here outside the school. We'll have crews here and bring you the latest both on air and online NBC7.com reporting from Vista Nicole Gomez NBC7. In other news, the Claremont neighborhood is getting a much needed makeover after waiting five long years. They've got some rough streets there in front of those homes. Today, the city started repairing uh, along a badly damaged stretch of Limerick Avenue. So this project is the first leg of Mayor Todd Gloria's so-called Sexy Streets Initiative, which sets aside about $40 million to improve 54 miles of roads across San Diego. Meteorologist Ashley Matthews joining us right now with a look at your forecast. Happy Wednesday to you. Hope you're having a great day. Here's some headlines for you in the weather department. We are seeing mild temperatures, especially for the coast and inland valleys for today. More afternoon sun. We saw that cloud cover this morning kind of make its way out of the county. So a lot of sunshine for the afternoon, especially for the coast and inland valleys. Beautiful weekend in store for us too. Very mild temperatures. Here's a quick look at those temperatures for you for the next five days or so at the coast inland valleys. Mid 70s for the coast today should be in low 80s today for the inland valleys. All right, finally getting the San Diego we love back weather-wise, aren't we? So more news straight ahead for you. A number of stories we're following, including this one, as we are one step closer to seeing what the future of the sports arena site will look like. We've been talking about it for a long time. Now there's some action to report details on the project. Thank you for watching. We'll see you right back here soon. Homework can be hard. But squatting in a diner for internet work is even harder. That's why we're providing lower income students access to affordable internet. So homework can just be homework. Cox Connect to Compete. This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. 
Hey there, Stephen Luke back with you. Let's get right into those local stories as people in Santee will be getting the chance to voice their opinion on a controversial housing development plan that we're going to be talking about here. A public hearing is going to be held considering approving the Fenita Ranch project again. Now earlier this year, a judge threw out the city's approved plans because the court questioned whether people living in this area would be able to safely evacuate during a fire. The project calling for more than 3,000 housing units without a school or 2,900 housing units with a school. The plan will also include a, a lot of area for commercial space, parks, and agriculture. San Diego is one step closer to figuring out the future of the sports arena site. The city council here voting to enter into an exclusive negotiating agreement with Midway, Midway Rising yesterday. Now, there were three teams initially hoping to redevelop this site, but the city made it clear over the past year the council was likely to choose the team proposing the most affordable housing units. Midway Rising's proposal rose to the top, including 2,000 units for low-income San Diegans. Also, a lot of debate still going on about the feasibility of this plan. It is based on the representations made by the Midway Rising team. The housing count, the affordability levels, the site plan, the privately financed sports arena, and how they will treat their contractors, subcontractors, and workers, and their commitment to see this project through. The City Council says if Midway Rising's plans do change, they can exit the negotiations. For San Diego drivers, you've seen it. Gas prices on the rise again. The local average rising for the 12th straight day today. There's the average right there, $5.38 a gallon. So this comes after a streak of 79 days, actually, uh, where the average price fell nearly every day. Experts say the increase in prices can be tied to a number of factors, primarily maintenance at oil refineries and increased demand. Meantime, the, uh, the, the, the cheaper winter blend that you've heard about, that's expected to roll out this week. It's expected to bring a bit of relief at the pump, but only temporarily. This winter blend, I think, will only be beneficial until we get towards the end of October. And then we're going to see all the factors are pointing to an upward trajectory in oil and retail prices. The professor right there uh, also telling NBC7 he expects around a 10 to 20 cent jump, largely because the U.S. is reaching the end of the president's temporary release from the strategic oil reserve. If you're looking to adopt a four-legged best friend, we have some good news for you. There's a lot of them available. Uh, in August, thousands of pets were adopted during our Clear the Shelters campaign. We all did such a great job uh, getting those dogs and family members connected, but now the San Diego Humane Society says already their shelters are full again. So in hopes of clearing up some more space, they are waiving adoption fees for adult dogs this week. There are 172 adult dogs looking for new homes right now. We'll be right back after the break. Advanced security from Cox protects your connected devices from malware, but not from that. Oof, and definitely not that. Oh, duck! Get panoramic Wi-Fi and protect your connected devices with advanced security. Happy Wednesday, Tia. Hope you're having a great afternoon so far. And uh, it looks like weather-wise, it's going to be wonderful outside for the afternoon. We should be hitting about 75 degrees for the coast this afternoon and about 80 for the inland valleys. And then check out these temperatures for the next couple of days and, of course, the weekend. And San Diego's only 10-day forecast here. Mid-70s for the coast for the weekend. Inland valleys should be upper 70s, low 80s for the weekend. Here's a quick look at the mountains and deserts as well. 70 for a high in the mountains today, 95 in the deserts. And those are today's top stories. For more coverage you count on, as always, we have it at NBC7.com. We'll see you soon.